Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. A little bit tired because of the week. Today is Thursday, so I will feel the 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 stress of the work. But now we are going to study with you. So I like doing uh, my second job. So we are going to practice today. And I hope you learn today something new. And how are you guys? How is your week uh, going? Uh, in, my, in my case, my weekend, it was very interesting because I am working and studying in the platform. And you are very busy, like all of us, I guess. Really? Yes, because and I was working. Yes, like all of us. And that's good because we keep our mind busy. So we think uh, uh, a lot of things. It's always good to keep our mind thinking about something, doing something, developing some activities, different activities. So we don't feel the, the time. Sometimes we need more time to do the things, a lot of things that we want to do. Okay. And how are you going with the platform? Did you complete it until the section five? I finished the platform. You have finished the platform, that's nine. And how about yeah. the, di the diploma? Uh, is that with the right uh, date or not still, not yet? Uh, I don't I, uh, I don't check it out, but uh, 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 after do that. class, I- You I will watch. do that, okay. Yeah. So if you can see the correct date, uh, don't worry. It's a, a, a small problem that is happening with the platform, with the uh, with the people in charge. So don't worry, you will have the, your diploma at the end. And I want to tell you that tonight is the last class of this week and of this month, because next uh, next week is our vacation we have vacation are you going to have vacation next week yes i will you will have so that's nice so try to take advantage of the time try to do some things that you uh, have time to do meanwhile you are working uh, for example, if, if you want to read a book, if you want to watch a movie, you can do that. And you can watch movies in English. And you can watch them with the subtitle. So you can practice, practice your listening and also your reading. So that is a very good strategy to learn English because you are developing two skills at the same time, listening and also reading. And also you can learn some new words, some new vocabulary or pronunciation. So watching movies in English is very good uh, for your progress, for your learning. So if you have the chance to watch movies, that will be very helpful. Also listening to music in, in English is very uh, 
is very interesting because if you find the the lyrics you can sing the the music the the song and you can read the lyric at the same time and you practice you do um both activities at the same time you learn and you enjoy your favorite music that that is a good practice that you um should try listening to music and also watching movies okay uh we are um 19 tonight 20 20 participants so we are going to start today class and the topic for today is the present continuous uh, this is a um, very basic topic, but it's very important that you practice and uh, so you don't forget about it and you, you use it uh, correctly when you are speaking or um, maybe writing. So we are going to practice that today. And let's see. Uh, I have a presentation uh, for today's class about that topic. So we are going to start with that. Let me try presentation. Um, this is the last slide. This is the first one. Okay, guys, today is Thursday, uh, July 29th. Uh, and this is the class number 10. This is our topic for today, the present continue. I think most of you have uh, have studied that before. But as I told you, tonight we are going to recall it. So you don't uh, lose the practice. Okay, let's start with the first slide. And for this topic, I have a quick reference. And I have this chart in which we have the, the three forms of the present continuous. And also uh, we have the form, the present continuous. Uh, we made that with the verb B plus ing. So if you want to make a present continuous sentence, the first things that you have to do is to use the, the verb be and to add the verb, uh, I mean, ing to the main verb. For example, for an affirmative uh, sentence, I have, I am, which is the verb be, and I have listen, as the main verb, then I just add ing to turn it into a present continuous sentence. Um, as well, we have uh, the personal pronoun you and the verb be are plus the, the same verb listening uh, using ing. And for the first uh person it doesn't change the only thing that changes is the verb be in this case is he is and the verb is the same he is listening for the negative form uh is the same the only things that we add is the the negative form in this case not we also use the verb be i am or am constructed i'm not listening the main verb uh, keeps the same form with ing and for you you aren't listening then we have the third person he isn't listening as you can see the verb is the same for all of this, but you can use another verb. 
you can say I'm watching, I'm playing, I'm listening, I'm studying, anything, any verb. And the, for uh, for the questions, uh, in this case, we use the verb be at the beginning and the personal pronoun after the verb be. For example, am I listening? Are you listening? Is he listening, etc. So that is the base form. This is uh, the basic information that you have to know uh, to use the present continuous. Is present, in this case is present because we have more forms like past continue, future continue, but this time we are going to focus on the present continue. I guess this information is clear for you because it's very um, it's very common this topic. So we are going to uh, go to another example, to another slide, and in here we find the uses of the uses of the present continuous. So in this case, I'm going to ask. To, to Luis Alonso to help me reading the uses of the present continuous. We have three, three uses for the present continuous for to, tonight class. So, okay, Luis. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. Read. See, sí. yeah, I mean. Uh, number number uh, three the three four the four three. attempt for a, okay. four a temporary activity or situation which may not be in progressive moment okay And what about the number one, the first use for something that is in progress now? Some, for some time. Something. For some time. Something is, is in progress now. That is in progress. That is happening at this moment, at this time. For example, Okay, thank you, Luis. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, the first use is for something that is in progress or something that is ongoing at, at this time that is happening at this moment, in this exact moment. For example, if it is raining, uh, we express uh, with these expressions, look, it's raining. So you add the ing to the verb rain. Look, it's raining right now. You can add it, uh, that complement as well. It's raining right now. And you know that is happening at this time. And also you, we use the present continue for a temporary activity or situation with maybe, which may not be in progress at this moment. Um, for example, for example, he is studying engineering at college. He is studying engineering at college this year. Uh, that is that may may not be happening right now but in the present year he is studying engineering so by this time at a 13 he may not be studying but in this year yes he is studying engineering 
or you can say my daughter is studying nursing nursing at college this year or this month i'm studying english this month and that means that the whole month you are receiving classes you are attending classes okay the next uh, use we use the present continuum for arrangement uh, that we have made for the future we use that for plans for example i'm having a party next saturday you have already planned that so you will do that you will do that uh, activity you will uh, make it happen because you have already planned it you can say i'm having a party next year because you are sure that you will do that uh, so these are the uses for the the present continuous is not a, not only for something that we do uh, right now we can do we can express that the present continuum to talk about a temporary activity or situation or for plans that we have made for the future so if you have any question or if you have any examples you can tell me right now or I will ask you for some examples. If you have any questions, you can tell me right now, please. Teacher, uh, the example number three, I having a party next Saturday. Yes. If the, it's, it's the same when you, when you say, I'm, I'm gonna, have a party next Saturday. Is the same. Is the same if you say I'm going to have a, a party next Saturday. Going yeah. is is another verb. Is the main verb is go, but if you add I'm ing, going. it's turned into a into a, a present continuum. Okay. Uh I'm the, going the party next Saturday. I'm is going right? I'm going to a party next Saturday. And to that is okay. Is the same meaning. It doesn't change. Okay, thank you. Because it's a plan and you will do that because you have already uh, planned it. You have already um uh, think about the party. Okay. And what if I say I will have a party next Sunday, Saturday? What will happen if you if I say I will have a party next Saturday? I will have a party next Saturday. Uh, that's okay as well. But in that sentence, you are using will, the auxiliary, auxiliary will. That means the same for future plans. But in this case, we are uh, practicing the present continue for uh, plans that you can use that as, as well. You can use the present continue to make yeah, plans right. on the, on the, in the future. But the, the sentence is okay because you are using... Uh, I understand. You are using and will. One thing, one thing is if... He... If I I sure that I will, yeah. And the other is is not. Uh, the the use of will is less certain. Um, Correct. Is less uh, probable that happen. But when you say I'm having a party next Saturday, you are one hundred percent sure that you will uh, have the party. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And as well, you can say, I'm having dinner after the class. You will eat dinner after the class and means the same. 
So do you get the Tell me. El tercer ejemplo aplica solo con el verbo have. Um, no, you can also say I'm going to a party next Saturday or I'm going to have a party next Saturday or next weekend. But this is another time. Is going to? Going to is, is used for future as well. Future, uh -huh. For future. And also, as you can see, if you can see, going has ing, ing as well. So is that means that it's in progress in the future. That activity will be in progress. But you can also use another verbs. For example, I'm taking a shower uh, tomorrow in the morning. I'm taking a shower. Because that is something that you always do. You can use another verb. You can say, I'm reading a book tomorrow because you always do as well. I am working tomorrow, it's okay. I'm working tomorrow is another possibility. It's right as well. As long as you have already planned it, you can use the present continue. Teacher. Go ahead. Eh, el, la terminación en los verbos ING es lo que se conoce como gerundio. Yes, que es una acción, una acción en los verbos, o sea, algo que se está ejecutando. Yes, is exactly Porque en same. este segundo ejemplo se entiende en español que él está estudiando ingeniería en el, en el colegio, en la escuela. At the university, yes. En la universidad. Pero el verbo es estudiando. Yes, the main verb is study. But if you add ing, that means that is happening at this moment or may not be happening at this moment, but it's happening in this year. Okay. Uh, por ejemplo, usted puede decir, uh, estoy trabajando en esta compañía, en esta compañía, este año, y a esta hora usted no está trabajando porque está en su casa, pero lo está haciendo. Usted está, trabaja para esa compañía. So, usted puede decir, estoy trabajando para esa compañía este año. O estoy estudiando esta carrera este año. O you can say, I'm taking English classes this year. Estoy tomando okay. clases de inglés. So, it's something yes. that, that may, be, may not be in progress right now but uh, you know that you are doing that okay thank you for your questions okay, uh, we are going, we're going to to do this exercise can you see clear the the paragraph the conversation yes i do I, okay. I think. Let's see. We have in here some verbs that which are in, in, in parentheses. For example, we have do, work, like, still study, not like, etc. So what I want you to do is to read the conversation and use the correct correct form of the verb. I'm going to do the first one. For example, Roxana says, Hi, John, nice to see you. What are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? So you use the verb do with ing, with the uh, present continuum. 
as we uh, just uh, saw in the in this chart. We use the verb be and the ing form of the main verb. Okay, is that clear? I need two volunteers. Or John can... here. Me too. John. Can do it. I work in in hotel near the beach. Okay. Uh, I'm working in a hotel near the beach. Near the beach. I'm working in a hotel near the beach. I work so... in a hotel near the beach. Okay, listen, the correct pronunciation is hotel. Hotel. Like with a uh, hotel in Spanish, hotel. Hotel. I work in, in a hotel near the beach. I work in a hotel near the beach. Okay. Near the beach, okay. So, not all. Uh, I, I liking. Okay, listen, uh, I was about to tell you this. Not all the verbs uh, are possible to use uh, ing form. Because it's a paid verb. I really care. I will explain you in the following slide. In this case, you use the simple present. I, I like it a lot because it's so interesting. I like it. In this case, the verb like okay. doesn't change. You don't say I like in it because that is incorrect. So some of them uh, cannot be used with the ing form. In the next. This is because the verb is. O sea, termina en ando y ando. En español, um, sería gustando, yes, que no existe, ¿verdad? Because uh, hacen, uh, well, hacen uh, meaning, hacen not, has not logic to say, I'm liking it. I like in Spanish. No tiene sentido decir, me está gustando. O tal vez en español sí, pero no en inglés. So, en algunos casos no se puede utilizar el ING. Ya vamos a ver en la next slide algunos verbos, los más comunes. But from all of this, only like uh, can be used with ING form. The rest of them, you can add ING. So you can continue with the number four the line number number four and you go ahead so and you are still studying French at the college okay what is missing in in that question remember we use the verb be subject yeah the subject Using the main, um, the verb be. Are you studying? Are you still studying? Are you still studying? Are you still studying French at college? At the college? Are you? Because we have a question. We start with the verb be. Are you? Uh, is he? Is she? Am I? Am I still studying French at the college? Is she still studying French at the college? So don't forget the verb be and the subject. Okay, next, number five. We have the verb like. Remember that we can use it with ing. In this case, we have it in a negative form. Yes, I don't like it very much because we have to work too much. 
Okay, very good. Yes, I don't like it very much because we have to work too much. I don't like it. We use the simple present. Thank you. Number six, please. Somebody else? That, that one we see is that I'm right. I writing to a friend boy to live in Marseille. Marseille. Exactly. Uh, but one good thing is that I'm writing to a friend's boy who live in Marseille. I'm writing. You may not be writing at this moment, but you are doing that these days. I'm writing. Thank you, number seven, please. It helps okay, with my friend. I'm going to work now. I'm ordering. This is a question. Yeah. It helps me yeah. uh, with my French. With my friends. It helps me with my friends. French, my French. Are, are you, are you going to work now? Are you going to work now? Yes, that is the correct question. Is asking, are you going to work now? And then John says, no. Um, I'm going to the supermarket. Going to the supermarket. Going to the supermarket. Yes, I'm going to the supermarket to do some shopping. Do you want to come with me? Yes. Next sentence, next uh, line, number nine. Uh, I can, sorry. I am I going, going to meet my friend Melissa. I'm going to a cafe to meet my friend Melissa. So she can't because she is going to a cafe to meet her friend Melissa. And the last one, please. She helped me. Me why my thesis. I will telephone you tomorrow. Okay, what is missing? Helping is okay. She is. She is. She is. <laughs> the verb be is. She is. She is. She is helping. Helping me with my thesis. I will telephone you tomorrow. And the last question, the last sentence. Okay, I speak, I speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, very good job, guys. Now I'm, I'm going to show you some some verbs that you can use with ing form. And these are the verbs. Some verbs, some verbs are almost never used in the present continuous form. The most common are, uh, for example, agree, the verb be, believe, belong, care, forget, hate, now, I mean, no, like, love, mean, mine, notice, own, Remember, seem, suppose, understand. This is one is because, and the main verb is understand. Is not understanding. Understand, want, and wish. These are the most common. For example, the correct use of love is uh, in its main bay in its main form i love you you don't say i'm loving you because love is some of the verb that we can use with ing form and an, another verb is mean 
What does this word mean? That is the correct use. You don't say, what is this word meaning? Because we, we can use mean with ing form. Or you can say, in this case, I'm believing. I'm believing. You say, I believe. Or you can say, you don't say, I am belonging to this class. You say, I belong to this class. Or you can say, I'm on understanding the class. You say, I understand the class. When you see these verbs, don't add the ing because it's not possible. Do you have any questions with these verbs, with the meaning or the, their uses? Any question for these verbs? What is agree? Teacher, teacher uh, the verb be, we don't use in the present continuum. Being? Sometimes, yes, but uh, to express that something is uh, happening at that moment, you don't say, I'm being at this class. Or, yes, oh, like I am that. happy for I am happy for being here. Is okay. I happy to be here. That's okay. Or sometimes I say, thank you for being here. Thank uh -huh. you for being here. In this case, we, we can use that. Because that means in Spanish, gracias por estar acá. is not something that is happening, that is in progress. So we don't use those verbs. For example, we, we, we don't say forgetting. I'm forgetting about uh, mathematics because they are steady verbs, don't show action. Or you don't say, I'm hating, I'm hating my sister. Uh, okay, do you have any question? No? No. Okay, no question. So when you see those verbs, don't use them with ing form. Teacher, when say I having a baby, eso se puede. You are having a baby. Porque hay una, hay una canción que así dice. You have a baby. Así dice. Okay, uh, listen to this. You in, seem beautiful. In music, you can use uh, anything you, you want. In music, uh, the grammar doesn't exist. En las canciones, uh, la gramática a veces se, es violada, es, no se respeta. Porque en las canciones ustedes pueden usar la gramática como quieran. Por ejemplo, we know that those is used with uh, she or he, she does, she does. Uh, but in the song, sometimes we hear she do or he do. And it's not forbidden. It, no está prohibido usarlo de esa manera en las canciones. But having, we can use having with ing. As we, as we study in the, in the first example, and having a party this Saturday. And also you can say, I'm having a baby. You are having a baby or she's having a baby. Okay, let's see some examples. 
I have in here some sentences. You have to choose the correct answers, the correct uh, letter. You tell me if that is A, a or B. A, B. A. B. A. For example, a. don't give Jen, don't give Jen any cheese. She hates, she hates it. We a. use the a. simple present hate. We don't say she is hating it. Okay, and the number two. She is number hating, Siria, teacher. No, is letter A. She hates. She hates. Hates. She hates. 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 This one. In simple present, she hates. Number two, once a week. I go or I'm, or I'm going. Whether it be I'm going. Be, I go. I, I am I go. going. I'm going to an art class be. at the college. I go. Once a week, I'm going. The ruler too. I go. Uh, in this case, we can use both. Because if you say, I go to an art class, at the college, that is okay as well. But I'm going to an art class at the college is okay as well. That will be okay if you use that. Okay, number three. Do you want to can you read the sentence, the complete sentence? Do you want to find Jerry at home right now? I know. In the library. Letter B. Because we have right now, that is at this moment, he's studying in the library. Okay, you have three more examples, three more exercises. Look, Junko jumps or is jumping into the water? He's jumping. 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 He's jumping. He's jumping. He's jumping. Because uh, the, the very look shows that is happening right now. Yeah. And number two, it's it's snowing. It's jumping. It's snowing. It's snowing quite hard. Perhaps we shouldn't go out tonight. So this snowing. means that is happening at the time of speaking. So is letter B. It's snowing quite hard. Number three. I go or I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I am going. Where are you going? I'm going. You can use this word. Repeat I again. am going. I'm going to Toronto next Saturday. Next Saturday. I think I think we can use to four. Uh, I go to Toronto because it's a plan and we mm -hmm. use I'm going because it's a, a plan that you have already made. I go to Toronto is in simple present. I go to Toronto every year every uh, month can be used in that form but in this case i'm going to toronto next saturday next thursday is a plan so we use i'm going to toronto okay next slide i have some questions uh, we also uh, answer with ing form. 
for example what are you doing this year to improve yourself what should what could be the answer what are you I'm doing learning. this year i am studying yes i am I'm, taking i am taking english class i'm studying or i'm taking english classes as you can hear taking and starting are in present continuous and you use the present continuous to answer the questions as well uh, number two what do you think your best friend is doing right now my best friend is eating right now if he's eating my best friend is watching TV right now. Okay, my, my best friend is eating right now. Or my best friend is watching TV right now. He is doing that at this moment. Uh, next, are you reading any interesting books these days? And which ones? You can answer with a no. No, I'm not reading any, any interesting book. You can say, no, I'm not reading any book. Or you can say, yes, I'm reading some interest, interesting book. And then you, you can tell which one are you reading. You are reading. Next, what TV shows are you watching? after the class i am going to watch the match uh, mexico channel you know. oh, that's true tonight um is the match yes. yes and i guess as uh, usa was playing against qatar how was the match uh score do you know what what is the score? Yes. Um, United States. Yes. Qatar uh, zero. United States one. One zero. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. won the game. One zero. Nice. Yes. Let's see who who wins the next one. I hope to win uh, Canada because I don't like Mexico. Okay, next one. Uh, think about your favorite celebrity. What do you think he or she is doing right now? This question goes for, for Claudia, Rebecca. Who is your favorite celebrity? Claudia. Are you here, Claudia? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Okay. Who is your favorite celebrity? Do you have any uh, famous person that you admire? My favorite celebrity is Beyonce. Beyonce. Okay, what do you think uh, she is doing right now? What do you think Beyonce is doing right now? Um, Beyonce. Beyonce is watching TV. Okay, Beyonce is watching TV or maybe watching TV. Okay, thanks. Next question goes for, for Oscar Ortega. Uh, who are you hanging out with these days? Con quien ha estado saliendo últimamente? Uh, uh, are... With me. Uh, with 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 me uh, girlfriend with your girlfriend with 
Okay, you can say I'm hanging out uh, with my girlfriend these days. I'm hanging out. Hanging out is going out. Going out. Okay. Okay, thank you. And this question goes for, let me see. To Sandra Patricia. Which plans are you uh, are you working for this Friday? For this Friday. Maybe I am going with my friend after the after work. After work, you are going out with your friends after work. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, nice. And the last volunteer. What are you starting this this day? What are you starting this day? What which topics? I'm studying English. Okay, specifically which topics? I'm studying English course. English course. I am studying present continuous. The present continue. Nice. Okay, uh, do you have any questions so far? To make question and to answer the questions, we use the, the present continuous in both, in the question and also in the answer. Okay, next activity. Uh, we are going to use the present continue to describe these pictures, to describe what uh, the people is doing in the picture. Can you describe that picture using the present continuous? And the grandmother is reading. Is reading. Uh, reading. Yeah. To her, I don't know. How do you say? To grandsons, yeah. grandson oh, and grandson. granddaughter. Thank you. Another example can be uh, the boy is running with the dog. The boy is running with the dog. Okay, very nice. And what is this girl doing with that boy? What are the, what are they doing? Him in the tree. She's playing with her her monocycle. No. Uh, this girl. She's driving. She's driving. She's riding the scooter. She's riding the scooter. And this boy, Manuel, Manuel says uh, they are climbing, they are climbing. climbing the tree. It's playing. Playing. They are playing as well or climbing. Okay. Okay, I have other, I have other examples. Okay, tell me the your example. Uh, okay, uh, the children are playing in the in the tree. The children are playing on the tree. Uh -huh. in the, uh, on the tree. The main verb is climbing. They are climbing. Climbing. Tre what, what is climbing? Cl climbing. Clive, climbing in the tree. Prepare. Okay. okay. Uh, Otra. The children uh, the, uh, the play and the park parking. The children are playing in the park. In the park. Okay. Good. And who the had children, a, the children? The children are having fun in the park. 
the children are having fun in the park. That is another good example. They are having fun. And also we can say they are having a good time. They are having a good time. Can you identify any other example? A you child also... is smiling behind the grandmother. Very nice. The child is smiling behind the grandmother. Also, and the grandmother is enjoying, is enjoying reading the book to the children. The boy is listening a tale the boy is listening a fairy tale a un cuento fairy tale the boy is listening the family the family in park the family is in park uh, is in park is spending time in the park, spending time. Spending time. Another ing use spending. Spend time. Okay, okay. let me see what time is it. Um, Any uh, other example? También, teacher, podría ser que the the teacher in the park uh, or the children and uh, teacher in the park. Okay. Puede ser que sea la profesora también, ¿verdad? Que esté yes. con varios niños. In this case, it, it, it will be the woman is teaching the children in the park. She is teaching. The children playing happy. The, the children are playing happily. An adjective happily. They are they are playing y... felizmente happily. Okay, dog feeling happy. The children is running which you do. The children is running with his dog. He's running yes. with his dog. Okay, his dog. His Remember dog. about possessive adjective. His dog, her scooter, her book, and so on. Let me see. Another example is the child is looking at the book to his grandmother. As well, the child is looking at the book to his grandmother. Thank you, Sulma, for the example. And if you don't have any other example, do you have any question with the topic? They are having a good day. They are having a good day. Very nice. As you can see, there are a lot of possibilities to describe a picture and only picture. So you just have to look for the options for the activities that they are doing. The activities uh, that are in progress. So that is what we use the present continuous for. To describe things and that are happening in the moment or actions. Let me see one last chat, one last chat, I mean. The dog is feeling happy. Okay, thank you, Ruben. Or the dog is looking happy. She looks happy, she's looking happy. Okay, thank you guys for your examples. We are going to stop here because it is almost 9 p.m. Thank you for attending the whole week.
for the ones who did. And this is the last class for, to, for this week. We are going to have vacation from Monday to, to Friday next next uh, weekend, next week. So if you have the chance to advance uh, in the platform to complete all the, the course, you can do that. Feel free okay. to do that. Uh, Tell me. Disculpe, una pregunta. Entonces toda la semana, esta semana que viene es vacación y hasta la próxima sería la, el inicio. Yes, we have vacation. Let me see my calendar. From today until then we have the complete uh, week, the first week uh, of August. From two to six, we have vacation. Then we we'll start classes again on Monday nine. On Monday nine. Remember about that. Spanish nueve. El lunes nueve de agosto empezamos de nuevo las clases. Okay. So la próxima okay. semana no habrán clases. Pero como les decía, si tienen algo pendiente en la plataforma o, o la quieren terminar completa ya, hacer todos los, ex, los ejercicios, el examen, están libres de hacerlo. Incluso va a ser mejor para ustedes, para venir nada más a, a aclarar alguna duda que tengan o a practicar los temas que hemos visto en la plataforma. So, okay. los animo a que continúen, ya casi termina el curso, solo nos quedan seis clases más. You are doing a good job, you are doing very well, so you can then be in another level, next course. Okay, so have a good night guys, have a... A great a weekend. Night. Enjoy your weekend. Oh. And take care. Take care and see you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. you too. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Have, a good vacation. Vacation. Yes. have a good vacation. It's if you will have Thank it. You. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. See you soon. See you, see you soon. soon. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Happy vacation. Thank you. Thank you, you too.